Hello everyone, it's David from Automotive Press. Guess what, I'm driving the 2025 Toyota Camry, which is substantially improved over the 2024. And you know what, it drives amazing. You won't believe how good this thing drives, maybe even better than the Crown or Crown Signia. More on that a little bit later on. But let me tell you seven reasons why I know for a fact that 2025 Toyota Camry is way better than 2024. Let's go. So the very first reason why the 2025 Camry is better than 2024 is the fact that manufacturing quality has improved and in fact it's close to world class as I will show you right now. If you look at the gap of this uh, new Camry, it's only about 3.1 millimeter there, 3 millimeter there, 3 millimeter there as well which is hard to believe and then a little bit wider here at 3.5 millimeter back to three millimeters so that's truly world class when most of the gaps are three millimeters that's unheard of because um, you know what that's a lexus territory and the gaps are really consistent panel looks really excellent if you follow all the lines here everything lines up the fuel cap also perfectly recessed nothing out of order here and the paint job looks really fantastic too there's some orange peel here as you would expect from most vehicles but uh, the overall paint job in terms of consistency paint quality and the clear coat finish looks absolutely excellent it's hard to believe you are getting uh, gaps of only about three millimeters on this very affordable camry sedan i take my hats off to the american team that is manufacturing this it's absolutely gorgeous in terms of exterior design but also just a really good quality in terms of exterior the second reason why I like the 2025 much better than 2024 is also the design. Now, not all the panels are brand new, so the doors are the same as before, and the roof is the same as 2024, but all the other sheet metals are different, and therefore you have a completely different look in the front, and also very quite different in the back. And so it's not brand new model, but it's almost brand new. It's more than facelift, and I really like this, uh, design that is looking very much like a Toyota Crown but this is more affordable it's cheaper and more value oriented but honestly it looks in some way better than the Crown crossover or Crown sedan that we have uh, because it has a bit of a muscular feel to it there's a little bulge that comes out on the rear section here you can see bulging out and the whole thing looks very much like a Camry, but also with a hint of uh, something that's flagship-like. So in fact, it looks actually more expensive than the Crown, from my perspective anyway. So I love the exterior. Uh, what do you guys think of this design? This is a SD model that has even a bit of a canards right here for uh, aerodynamic efficiency. And the whole package looks amazing. The third reason why 2025 Camry is much better is the interior it's also very much uh, renovated and modernized we get a large infotainment system also digital cluster in the middle i still get all of the buttons here and knobs for the uh, radio control as well but the basic philosophy is very different now because it's not just modern but also actually quite um, artistic we get a little ribbed look here this is actually a fabric same thing over here fabric and fabric does something different and in contrasting color, it looks absolutely great. So this is a, a very modernized interior, much better than the 2024. It's also very practical and functional from my perspective. I still get a normal shift instead of a button type things uh, or those little knob that you move forward and backward. I really liked having a normal shifter uh, and all the cup holders and everything are here as well as USB-A, USB-C. So the entire interior has been revamped. It looks modern and beautiful, and yet it is still practical. Fourth reason is the fact that we have the fifth generation hybrid system here. 2.5 liter naturally aspirated engine with a hybrid mechanism. As you know, Toyota makes the best hybrid system in the world. And in this particular model, it functions absolutely flawlessly. The transition between gas and electric motors are almost unnoticeable. Uh, when you're driving this vehicle and it's just absolutely gorgeous to drive and even though it's not the fastest car you can get on the market it has plenty of power and torque for everyday driving and when you step on the gas it does take off pretty pretty well and i'll show you that in a second um, but yes it's only hybrid now for camry versus 2024 which will have gasoline and hybrid and therefore there is a advantage for 2025 model year 
The fifth reason why I really like the Camry over the 2024 is the way it drives on the road. In fact, you will not believe until you drive this thing because it's that good in this price range for a four-door sedan. You will not find anything else that has a good steering feel, good cornering ability. In fact, it's flat around the corners like I'm going through right now. It's just absolutely amazing. The steering has just the right amount of feedback. It is still light, but it's very quick. So when I make left and right turn like this quickly, the response to my steering input is quick. It's hard to believe that this is not a, a true sports sedan because it's surprisingly fun to drive. And maybe it's not important to some of you guys, but for me, who really likes to drive cars and to feel the sportiness, I appreciate that Toyota took the time to engineer uh, some very important changes to 2025 to make it more fun to drive and give you a lot better feedback. And the sixth reason is also related to the fifth one, and that's once again the performance on the road, and that is to do with suspension. You can tell I'm going through some really twisty turns right now, and this thing just stays really flat, corners well, it doesn't kind of wallow around the corners, it's not too soft, and I can drive at a pretty decent speed like this. Wow, this is astonishing for a value-oriented uh, sedan to have this much capability. And this thing is not even dressed with uh, high-performance tires. So I think it's really good in terms of ride, which is comfortable and smooth and refined. But most of all, it's quite performance-oriented, and the cornering is absolutely fantastic. So the suspension system working together with uh, tires, absolutely first class for a car in this price range and this is just a sedan and not a sports car. And the seventh and the final point is that everything got improved and updated here, uh, especially the technology side. You have a much larger infotainment system. You have all of the latest safety sense 3.0 features. And so you're going to not have to worry about uh, struggling with having kind of a compromised safety system. Uh, no, you have the top of the line latest safety sense 3.0 and you have USB-C, USB-A, as well as uh, wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. Basically everything you expect in the modern car are all standard equipment in this vehicle, more or less standard. Obviously there's some differences between the trims. It's hard to believe it is still priced within a very reasonable value because this is a Camry after all, not a flagship model, it's not a Lexus. But you're getting pretty well almost everything you will get in a, a Lexus sedan but in a very value-oriented package and you know what it's just fun to drive i really enjoy driving this camry which is surprising considering that this is a humble four-door sedan so don't give up on sedan yet there's still a future and they're still selling pretty well so if you don't need a big suv if you don't need a tall suv you know what this camry does everything well it's all-wheel drive hybrid system fun to drive all packaged inside a value-oriented pricing. So I love the new Camry, and it is definitely way better than the 2024. What do you guys think of the Camry? What do you guys think of the 2025 versus 2024? We'd love to hear your comments. Uh, and if you haven't uh, done so yet, would you kindly give me a thumbs up, make some comments and questions. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, would you kindly subscribe? Until next video, I'm signing off for now. Thank you so much.